Hello YouTube, this is Brizzle McKizzle 29. This video is going to be half review, half how to if I can hold the camera right. But I've got cigarette rolling machines. And I'd like to talk about the durability. Okay, first, let's go to the big one. I'd like to do a how-to with this one, but I got it home and it immediately broke after maybe rolling 50 cigarettes, something like that. Uh, I make another one that's black. That's a little bit more durable, but if you're looking to buy a cigarette machine, don't buy this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next thing I want to get to is this, which is pretty much the same thing, but plastic. And it broke too. It's not that it broke, it's like the gears inside of it. I don't think you can see down in here, but a gear slit that's supposed to push the thing that comes out the side. And now it goes out too far. <laughs> But I bought it at a gas station. It's made of plastic, and it probably wasn't. It wasn't much, put it that way. Not as much as the metal one I just did. Okay, but anyway, if anybody's got any advice on how to fix that, <laughs> I'd like to know. All right. Anyway, I got another machine made by the same brand would be this. Now, this is not a bad machine. I mean, I've rode a couple hundred foot and it hasn't broke it. It's got this little spring load thing on it. I guess it's good. I don't know. Uh, it works. But then I get to my last area. Yeah, my last before I roll any anyway, is this. This is made by Gambler, and as you can see, it's wore. It's kind of old because I have literally rolled thousands of cigarettes with this little machine here. And I know a lot of people are like, well, you've rolled thousands, you just got a good one. Haven't you ever seen Herbie? He's like, yeah, but I thought that too. So then I went and got that one. As you can see, it's not the same one. And I've literally rolled thousands of cigarettes with this machine, too. Same machine. They're just like the little yellow top machines. As a matter of fact, they're identical. But the thing is, the little yellow top machine broke after a week or two. Uh, this machine is better than the yellow top machine. Well, anyway, if you're looking for a small rolling machine, by the gambler because it's real good. Anyway, you're like, oh, okay, now you're going to roll cigarettes. So, are you going to get tobacco all over your table? No, I'm not. I have a tray for that. This is actually a Coca Cola tray. It's worth about $80 until I rolled some of these cigarettes on. Now, the paint's chipped off of it. It's worth nothing. And it seems to have cigarette ash stuck to it. So, anyway. Here's my contribution. The thing is, I'm going to have to figure out how to hold my camera real right. The thing about these little machines, 